We know that one in three women over 50 will experience an osteoporotic fracture. Now that is a sobering thought, but what if I told you that you have the power to fundamentally reduce your risk starting today, even from your own home? Hey, it's Jack. And Jess from Be Mobile Physiotherapy, your experts in strength and fitness for adults 55 and over. Now, osteoporosis can feel like a silent threat. It's a condition that can lead to a very real fear of fractures, a loss of confidence, but also a feeling of being more fragile. But we're here to tell you that that is not the full story. The truth is your bones are living adaptable structures and you have a huge amount of influence over their strength. So in this video, we're going to give you a clear, evidence-based plan. We're gonna cover the two signals that your bones need to actually go stronger, and why lifting heavy weights is not only safe, but also essential for you, and what that really means. And we'll demonstrate the four most effective exercises to help you build your bone density and take control of your health. Let's get straight into it. Okay, firstly, we need to change how we think about bones. They're not lifeless scaffolding that you'll see on a work site. They're more like muscle. They're actually breaking down and building back up all the time. They're a living organic structure. And just like muscle, they respond to one rule, use it or lose it. Now, this becomes particularly important as we get older. Many of you watching will know that there's a natural drop in estrogen post-menopause, which can accelerate bone loss. In fact, the average woman can lose up to 10% of her bone mass in the first five years after menopause. It's a key reason why your bones need extra stimulus to stay strong. But the great news is your bones are still incredibly responsive. When you challenge them with the right kind of stimulus, you send a powerful signal to your body saying, hey, we need to be stronger. In response, your body deposits more minerals and makes your bones more resilient. And in the long run, this is gonna improve your bone density. So what is the right kind of stress? This is where a lot of common advice misses the mark. Activities like walking and swimming are great forms of exercise, but they don't provide a strong enough signal to trigger a bone building response. In order to trigger that bone building response, you need two key ingredients. First, resistance. When you use a weight that's challenging for you, the muscle pulls powerfully on the bone. This is the first signal. This signal tells your bones that they need to reinforce themselves so they can cope with this load better in the future. Oh. Second, impact. When you land from a small jump or even a stomp, a force travels up through your skeleton. This is the second signal. It's a powerful message to your bone cells to get to work. Now, combining heavy resistance and impact training might sound a little scary, especially if you're being told that your bones are fragile. I completely understand that hesitation. However, this next scientific paper I'm going to share with you will reassure you. One study took women who had osteoporosis with an average age of 65 and put them on a program of high-intensity impact and resistance training. The results are really promising. For those women that did participate in the program, they saw significant increases in bone density, especially in the spine and hip, an overall gain in strength, but really importantly, zero fractures or injuries during the program. So this study showed that when starting with manageable loads and then slowly progressing, heavy resistance and impact training is generally safe. The key is understanding that heavy doesn't mean dangerous. Heavy means a weight that is challenging for you. So let's put all of this into practice now with our four key bone building exercises. We're gonna show you some key technique tips, but also show you how you can modify the exercise to suit your needs. And it's really important to remember, we're not gonna be breaking any records today. We're simply introducing the exercises and you can build them slowly over time. The squat is a great exercise for building leg strength. It can help you with things like getting out of a chair, getting up and down from the floor, and even going up and down the stairs. I've got three key tips to help you with the squat. The first one is the depth. So you can adjust the depth to do a deep squat or a slightly shallower squat, depending what feels right for you. The second tip is about your foot position. So you could do a wider squat or bring your feet in slightly and do a narrower squat. Neither is right or wrong. You've just got to see what feels right for you. The third tip is about holding the weight. So I've got a dumbbell here. I could hold it at my front and do a squat. And it's okay if you have to bring your torso down a little bit 
as you do it you don't always have to stay straight up or this is a heavy rucksack with some books in it so you can find whatever you have laying around the house put it on your back and do the same thing Give that a go. The overhead press is an excellent exercise because as we're lifting that weight, you can imagine all that force traveling down through our arms and into our spine. This is gonna be such a good exercise for building that strength for lifting your grandkids overhead or perhaps putting something away in the cupboard. Here are some key technique tips. Firstly, we wanna lift the weights directly overhead as the exercise suggests. Now you can keep your arms out just like this, but if it's more tolerable, you can angle them in towards each other you just got to find what is right for you. Now, we like to get the weights all the way overhead as high as possible, but if you need to change that range of motion and just do a little bit because that's all you can tolerate, well, then that's fine as well. We're still working towards that bone density building. You can also use a trusty rucksack or backpack filled with some books and push that overhead as well. At the end of the day, we just want to lift a challenging weight for that exercise. The deadlift is one of the best exercises for loading your hips and your spine and is awesome for helping you pick things up in your everyday life. Some key tips for the deadlift is as you're dropping the weight down, you want it to be as close in between your shoelaces as you can get it. So you don't want it too far forwards, nice and close to your body. The second tip, and maybe the most important, is the movement is a bow movement. So you're bowing down and then standing up tall in between each one a bow and up tall. Now you don't have to go all the way down to the floor with this so find a level that feels right for you. It might just be your hands to your knees and back up. If you don't have a kettlebell at home you could grab the trusty rucksack full of books and do exactly the same thing. Holding it dropping it between your feet and standing up tall. Exercise number four is impact jumps. And this is how we add that crucial impact signal in a safe, controlled way. So what I want you to do is find a kitchen bench or something very sturdy. Now, for the easiest type of impact jump, all we're gonna do is go down into a squat, come up onto our toes and then slam those heels down, landing in that squat position. This is a modified way that might be a little bit more tolerable for you to start. Now, if you are tolerating that, what we want to start to do is get our feet off the ground with some hand assistance. So just as is tolerable, once again, landing with impact into the ground at a tolerable height. Now, as that gets easier and easier and you can actually get a bit higher, that's what we want for that impact force to come through our bones, going up as high as we can and landing with a thud on the ground in that nice squat position. And this is going to be crucial for building your bones. So there are four key bone building exercises. We recommend doing them for three sets of between five and eight challenging repetitions, and you can do them twice weekly. Now, remember, you can just start with a very tolerable load and slowly increase the weight to a challenging level over time. By embracing these types of exercises, you're not just managing your osteoporosis, but you're actively building stronger and more resilient bones. This will help prevent things like falls and fractures in the future to help you live a more fulfilled life. And if you'd like a completely free at-home strength workout, which is going to be perfect for someone over 55 looking to build their bone density, we've got a great one for you over on our website. There's a link in the description, so definitely check that out. Thanks for watching.